Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Brandon here, and welcome to a brand new episode of Civ Tech Ages. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. Hit that like button if you guys are. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. I'd really, really appreciate it. And uh, today, we are getting into uh, more of the advancements, the tasks, uh, everything that we have to do to advance to the uh, very first age. Because um, right now, as you guys can see, we're still in the tutorial. And we're like, what, six, seven, eight episodes in? I have no idea. And we have a lot of work to do. I'm going to get a lot of this done today, uh, which is really nice. Hopefully, in the next episode, I'll go ahead and do the dark gems. Um, I, I just want to make sure that I have the gear that I get my hearts all the way up, which I'm actually really close. Um, hopefully, in the, maybe this episode or by the next episode, I'll have the grain all the way up to 100%, which will be really nice. So that's kind of the plan. I already have all of the materials that I should need, um, so we're good to go on that. I also, if you guys missed the last episode, go check it out. We got this horse. We unfortunately lost a horse to our trap. It was very, very sad, but uh, we got cows. We got uh, pigs chicken and sheep now this is all closed because we don't have the ability to make fences and we have uh, obviously the chickens can escape in on one block um the baby cows baby sheep baby pigs can, uh, can escape uh, in the one block so that's why i have it completely blocked up but I'm, I'm working on growing uh that as well so um you know slowly but surely we're, we're getting going uh, on the series i love it i'm absolutely i'm absolutely having so much fun like the fact that we don't have glass or like fences or anything like that and we're like eight episodes in and it's just we're having so much fun it's amazing i mean i just i love this series i think it's one of the coolest series i've ever done i think the coolest mod pack i've ever played and i've played a lot of mod packs and this is this is just it's so much fun if you guys haven't tried it does take a lot on your computer but i mean it is it is so much fun like i allocate about 10 gigs of ram uh to to this game and uh it gives me at about 120 fps which isn't bad it's not bad uh, not bad at all. So, uh, we got everything uh, good to go. We're going to go ahead and make uh, the totem totemic ceremony stuff. So, we need the rattle, the flute, and the drum needed for totemic ceremonies. This advancement will give you a totemic to totem media pedi totem pedipedia. Consult the book for how to perform totemic or tr totemic ceremonies and other information i hope i'm saying that right if not i apologize and hopefully we can get a buffalo in this episode and we can kind of replace a horse and just have the horse like with us you know uh tame the horse um we're gonna make a saddle so we can use that uh, to walk around and also i would love to make a cart for the horse that would be really really cool and i definitely need to make these as well so let's get right into it um, first thing first, let's go ahead and make all the pieces. So this is the first piece to the, um, the flute. I want to say it's the first one, whichever one that is. Oh, the rattle. So let's go ahead and search for the rattle and see what the last piece is. I believe, yeah, it's just a stick. Okay. So we want to throw you here and then that's not a stick. Uh, put the stick here and boom. Okay. So we got the first piece. Uh, very easy to do and then the second piece is a flute um, So we have the flute the rattle and then we have the drum so boom totemic uh, Drum and now we have the totempedia. So let's go ahead open this up the totempedia a guide to all your totemic needs Totemic bases or basics musical instruments tot totems and effects ceremonies tools miscellaneous okay so let's just go through the basics um the red cedar tree buffaloes okay so i'm guessing that's where we're gonna have to get to Ooh, what's this spooky boss battle summon the boss bake 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 via a totemic ceremony and defeat him to acquire his powerful bow and unlock range combat early that's cool. Okay, I want my full hearts for that one. That one's really cool. Okay, so buffalo provide valuable resources to hunters. Use a totemic ceremony to spawn them. Collect their hide and teeth. Consult the to totempedia for more information. So we'll go ahead and do that one. The buffalo is the mighty buffalo, an animal which is known across the lands for all of the resources it can grant. They are incredibly sturdy and have a very large amount of health. Hunting has left them nearly extinct, but they can still be created with the Mandan Buffalo Dance Ceremony. 
Interesting. Okay, so um, let's go back. Let's see. Ceremonies. Uh, buffalo dance. Okay. As the white man came and took over the lands, he murdered almost all of the buffaloes that were once roaming the lands in large hordes. However, not all hope is lost. The Mandan dance, buffalo dance ceremony, is able to give strength to nearby cows and turn them into buffaloes, although a weaker kind than those that were once native. But they will grow larger and stronger over time. Okay, so we need the totemus drum and a wind chime. So medium little music amount. Avoid using red rags. Interesting. We're going to bookmark this. Okay, so we need musical selectors, totemus drum, and a wind chime. Okay, so we need to go get the wind chime. Um, all right, so that's what we're going to have to do do tools bark stripper big hugs bow totemic staff we don't need that i just want to look through this a little bit totems huh miscellaneous teepee uh the teepee is a type of tent shaped like a cone it consists of a wooden frame and tarp out of either buffalo hide or textile it can be placed on a flat surface okay so this is just telling me what it okay how to make it which we've already made it um, oh, you can also use buffalo hide for it. Okay, so we've already made that. So let's go ahead and make the, I guess, the, the chime. So let's go and do the buffalo. So, yeah, the wind chime. Okay. So let's go ahead and wind chime. All right. So how do I make you? I need two sugar cane, a bone, two string, flint, and stick. So, okay. So two, two sugar cane. All right, a bone, which I believe is in one of these somewhere. Um, okay, so we got one bone. All right, uh, two string and a flint. Okay, oh gosh, um, two string and flint. Where are my string, or do I not have any left? I might have already used all of my string. So let's go ahead. That's not it. Um, how do we make string again? It's with just the fleece, right? Which we do have that. So let's go ahead and use that. Um, make you. All right. And boom. String. Easy peasy. Okay. So we have... Now we need flint. Uh, which I believe is in... Oh, man. I wish I could label these. So one thing... I don't know if I can actually make signs yet, which is kind of a bummer. I I know it's in here somewhere. Maybe it might be on this side. I think I was right originally. Yeah, it's right here. Okay. So we need one flint, two string, two shirt cane, one bone, three sticks. Okay. So I think we're good. So let's go ahead and put you here. That's the okay, supposed to be the bottom. Okay, the two strings are in the middle. So let's grab you. This is so complicated. Okay. So two string on the side or in the yeah on the side bone flint um so bone and then the flint okay and then the three sticks so one two three okay so that should make it and there we go okay so we got the wind chime um now I don't really know how this is gonna work um like I said I've never I haven't seen a video on this I probably should have because I don't really know. How to do this? Um, medium, little music, amount, avoid using. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get one, one cow. So let's go ahead and grab a lead, and let's grab one cow, and pull it out here so that we that way we don't make more than one. All right. This is a bit com a bit more complicated than I thought it would be. But I went ahead and made this knife. I was actually looking at this video. And so basically, if you shift and uh, right click, see how it like it changes like the, you know, whatever. Um, so you can you can kind of look through this and like you want basically you want to go to the totem base, right click that one. So that's the totem base. And then now you can right click so like the uh, so if you guys didn't know um if you have like an ocelot nearby right the creepers won't blow up so you could have like ocelot pig rabbit and they all give you different 
um, powers and effects. So if you look at here, the here's the effects of bat negates fall damage and lets you jump further when you sneak midair. Uh, gives you fire resistance, makes you mine faster. Um, gives you night vision, gives you resistance to damage, gives you speed boost, prevents creepers from exploding, brings you good luck. Is the pig. Um, so like it's it's actually really cool. It gives you strength, gives you water breathing, lets you climb walls like a spider, and gives you jump boost. So I'm gonna kind of just use some of these. I want to use the pig one for sure, um, so that I have you know good luck. Um, so let's go ahead and use this one for that. So now. As you guys can see, there it goes. It popped up. There it goes. So now we have luck, um, which is pretty cool. And then if you do it again, oh, uh, let me go ahead and get the pig back. It should give you luck too. And no. Okay, so that doesn't work. So there is no, unless, unless I can do another one. Maybe it'll give me luck too now. Ah, there it goes. Interesting. Okay, I want like speed. Like, that would be cool. Or, or, um, I don't know. What should we have? Um, I guess, you know what? I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do speed. I think the speed one is kind of cool. Um, or the ocelot one, so that creepers don't kill us. Um, I might, oops, I totally just clicked the wrong thing. Um, let's do the ocelot one, because I'd rather not blow up from a creeper while we're doing like the ceremonies and stuff. So let's do that. So there we go. We got the ocelot one and we should be good. And we're also gonna get luck here at some point. All right, so as you guys can see, I have the luck. It should be working. Um, let's go ahead and just sh shift and click and then shift click again. And there's, there's a flute. Okay, so that's what we wanna do. And then now we just wanna go back and forth and that way my flute will get like that okay cool so now it's in a infused flute okay so that that worked really well so now we need to do the whole cow thing um i'm pretty sure so let me go ahead and get the cow above the vines now let's not let the cow have the same fate as a horse and we should figure this or get this uh all figured out and uh yeah Let's do it. Now that we have the uh, flute uh, that we uh, needed for these, I don't know if we did need the flute like that or not, but I'm pretty sure we did. I don't know. I'm not positive on that. So you guys can try it without the without doing the flute. Uh, you know, like the making the flute infused or whatever. But I I I thought that was probably the the best idea to do, um, just so that I can make sure that you know this is. Oh God. Well, I could just I could just pick them up. I completely forgot that I can just pick up the cows. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and grab you, put you there, and then let's grab this cow, which I'm just gonna pick up. I completely forgot that I could pick up the cows. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw you in here with your other buddy. Okay, so now we got both of these guys right here. Now what I want to do is okay. So basically, in the book, um, it says. Uh, with the buffalo dance, we need to shift and click the totem um, drum and then the chime. So basically with the flute, you know, we did the flute twice, right? So we want to do the drum and then the chime, the chime, and then get the flute into our offhand so that we can do that. So shift click and shift click. Okay, so then there we go. We want to do this and then we want to do this. And we want to do this quickly so that oh god so that we don't run out of time uh oh it worked okay that was really close that was really really close i didn't think i was gonna do that in time there we go there's two buffaloes and one's trying to suffocate itself i don't, I don't know why but there you go all right, easy peasy. There you go. So now we have two buffalo. So now if we look at this, uh, buffalo provide valuable resources to hunters. Use a totemic ceremony to spawn them, collect their hide and teeth. Consult. Okay, so we need to spawn them. Okay, so we did. Okay, so now I wonder how we um, how we breed them because that's the thing. I want to breed them before. I mean, I guess we can make make them later. I mean, the the main thing is I, I need their um hide and their teeth so i guess i could kill them and then just make 
more later when I have more cows. Because I don't really need them right now, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so let's go ahead and kill these guys. I need your hide and your... Of course, they only drop bones. Really? Really? That That's... That's not cool. That's not cool. Did any thing drop under here? No? Oh no, I killed them for no reason! Gosh darn it. Okay, well, they're they're pretty cool. Okay, so that was extremely unfortunate. I killed both of those buffaloes and they didn't drop anything. I wanted to try and get the hide and the teeth. And somehow neither buffalo dropped a single thing. Um which is unfortunate. And and that's how you get them. You have to kill them. Um, I, I looked at a video. I was like, huh, oh, I wonder if there's another way to get them. But no, that they have to die in order for you to get the teeth and the buffalo. So I don't know why they didn't drop anything. That's just really unlucky. So I guess um, instead, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, just kind of breed my cows um, and, you know, do that in another episode. So while we're waiting... Or in the meantime, I guess we can complete a couple of, of these other tasks uh, just so that I can, you know, I can get them done um, and we can kind of progress a little bit more. So uh, don't saddle for anything less. Got to go fast. So let's go ahead and make a saddle, which I believe is the OK. So the leather is on top. So we just go actually. Uh, OK, so that's on the OK. So bum, 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 bum like this and like oh like that okay let's grab this and there we go okay cool so there's a saddle that one is a done and let's go ahead okay so yeah and then all of this wow this is gonna be interesting okay so let's make the wheel so let's go ahead and so i just want to make all of these things and then that way we can kind of get on to like the next type of uh i guess mission or or whatever so um we want one block of wood uh, plank and then the, the sticks around it so uh, let's go ahead and grab a bunch of wood um, which I apparently don't have um, well I, I have this wood but that's about it okay so I'm gonna have to cut up some wood so let's go ahead and grab our axe uh, put that in a close spot so that we can easily break this wood we don't really need that much so I'm just gonna break that much and then let's replace you and we need, what, eight sticks, I believe. So two, four. Um, oh, well, that's not what I wanted to do. Six, eight. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So we'll grab you, you, and then we want you in the middle. And then we want you all the way around. And then that should make a wheel. Okay, so then that gets that advancement. So we're moving, we're moving along. We're moving along. Uh, so that's a, a millstone. So that's kind of cool. Um, so we need to make, so tired of carrying your stuff around your in your pockets, craft a cart and attach it to a horse to help carry your thing. Shift click the cart to open its inventory. That's really cool. Use your knowledge of the wheel to make a gear and that, that will go all, of, all the way into there. So let's go ahead and make these two things. So let's go ahead and make these two things. Um, attach a horse using elite and insert items into the automatic. No more chopping wood by hand, place a horse power chopper okay so i don't know if we're gonna have to actually get the horse to do it but um we'll go ahead and do that as well so let's go ahead and make the wheel or let's go ahead and make the cart i guess so um cart and let's do that and we need two primal chests advanced which i might just break two of those and just get them later on um we need two wheels and a slab okay boom boom and boom that space is empty and that should make the cart easy peasy just like that okay so now there you go we have the cart which is really cool so now we need uh let's go ahead and make the gear why not i i want to like fly through like a lot of the this easy stuff so that in the next episode we can do some of the big stuff like the millstone um so let's go ahead and do this we need Red cedar plank and buffalo. Okay, so we are going to have to wait for this one. Then I'm going to have to do some farming with the cows and the buffalo. Um, and then I'm going to have to find cedar wood, which I, I'm not sure where to go and get cedar wood. Uh, but it's pretty light. So we're going to have to do some traveling as well. I might do that off camera um, so that you guys don't have to watch that. So let's go ahead while we're waiting. We can't do this right now. We can't do this right now. Let's go ahead and do the chopper. So... Um, if we search for it here, it is a horse chopping block, I think is what we need. So oak wood, the five sticks, two leads, and a flint. 
Okay, so we have the oak wood. Um, and then, so let's put you here. Oh, no, not you. Um, and then the sticks, which we're going to have to make more. So let's do that. Let's do that. And let's do that. That should give us enough. How? Okay, so it's right like this, 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 and this. Okay, and now, oh, we do have a flint on me. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Easy peasy. So flint and then the two leads, which I have one. Let's go ahead and grab the second one. I'm glad I made a bunch of leads. That, uh, you know, always make extra, I feel like, in this mod pack, you know? Because you're going to need you're gonna need them, like, all the time. So there is that. And hopefully we just... There you go. We just got the achievement. So we don't even have to place it. And then next episode, I would like to obviously finish this one. Uh, and then get into the... Obviously, we need the... Um, I'll get this off camera. And so the next one, we'll do these, uh, these things. The mill stone and the gear obviously for the millstone i would assume um so that will make that and we'll kind of advance through there uh which i think the millstone will actually put us into the next age i don't know i've actually looked at like when when the end is i actually do need to do these actually as well um which we could probably do real quick um because i do have a little bit of time so uh this might be a longer episode but i did really want to get a lot of this stuff done so chest Okay, and then that, okay, cool. So we need a lot of wood, and we also need rocks, which I don't know where rocks are, but I'm pretty sure if you just do this, that makes rocks. Aha, okay, we're learning. We are learning. Okay, so let's put all of this, make this into oak slabs, or oak uh, planks, and boom, boom. All right, and then we want, oh no. No, 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 Okay, this, 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 and the rock, and let's make that. Okay, easy enough. And then the hopper, just like a normal, whoop, that's not right. Normal hopper, um, just surrounded by wood. So like this, and we'll put the chest like that. Just like a, a normal Minecraft hopper, essentially. All right, so then there we go. That one was, a, really, I keep on pressing M. Um, okay, so... Is your current wooden hopper not cutting it? Craft a Whopper MK2 to add more functionality. Okay, so now we need the Whopper, which I believe is right here. So we need bark, cobweb, which is five. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. So we need five string. Um, and then we need four, five bark. Okay, okay, I think... I think I have the materials to do this. We have two string. I might have to go and shear a sheep, which is fine. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, which I believe my sheep... That's a pig. This one's a sheep. So let's go in here. Hello. Hello, little sheep. Um, Alright, let me cover you up. Uh, I don't have any... Uh, thing to feed you guys to breed. So... We'll just grab my shears and grab a little bit of this. I wanted to breed them, but I don't have uh, stuff on me to do so. So, uh, we got that. Let's go ahead and... Where's my work blade? Do I have my work blade on me? I don't. So, let's go in, in this one. Um, or do I have my work blade? It is. It, it is right there. I am blind. All right, you, you, boom. Make a bunch of string. Okay, so... String and then it was like sticks, right? I think so. Let's go ahead and mine up all this wood And I believe that's the last thing we need to do So let's go ahead and do all of this and hopefully like I, I want to start making like setups with the With the horses like I want to I'm honestly I think by the next episode I'm gonna have like multiple horses working or maybe even buffalo uh, working on the on the mill And maybe just use more of the horse as like the pet, you know um, and you know be doing all of that stuff. So I think I'm gonna do a lot off camera um, Just so that we can kind of get a move on on a lot of this stuff because some of it you guys don't need to see So let's go ahead and make you You okay, so now I, I want to make this so five and then the corners, okay um, So let's do this so one two three four five and then the sticks in the corners to make the cobweb uh, which is pretty easy if I can find my crafting rock. All right, so the cobweb is done. Let's go ahead and grab you. Okay, so now what? Now I need 
the bark and then that original wooden hopper. So I doubt I have more bark, but what we can do is just use you. And how do we get bark again? I think it's through the work blade. It is. Okay. And then let's go ahead. How is this again? So the hopper in the middle. Okay. So you, 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 you. All right. Hopper. And then the cobweb uh, should make it. Hopefully, whoops. Hopefully, I can use that bark. I can. Okay. So there you go. There is that hopper. Gosh darn it. And, oh, wow. Okay, Ace of Melter, you don't have liquid fuel, so try solid ones. Craft a heater to get started. No, you'll need to match the Melter and heater types. Huh, this is interesting. Wow, I, this goes all the way down. Okay, the tutorial is, is taking a little bit longer. A hopper that moves items and keeps blocks above it hot. Flame grilled goodness. Uh, okay, so we got the place under clay kiln or stone grill works as fire source for basic automation that's cool which we would need charcoal dust a shark tooth red cedar plank which okay and then a shadow gem so that one's gonna have to wait as well until we complete um more of this so we need the shadow gem we need shark teeth and then we need the same stuff as the gear i think for that cedar wood so we need to find cedar wood as well so that's the episode we got as far as we can uh for this episode so i think the next episode i'll get the buffalo done we'll probably go for a shadow gem and that'll probably be that episode and then uh in the next one after that maybe we'll do the spooky boss and then we'll try and get into all of this as well if we can find cedar wood and whatnot so that's the episode um we got i feel like we got a lot done like we got all of this done we the the totem stuff was kind of confusing but it, it is really cool uh i i really like that so hope you guys enjoy I, as you guys can see I, i've strength um and that's because my hearts are filling out hopefully by the next episode i have this um 100 all the foods that you know 99 or whatever um so that way we have you know the full amount of uh health or hearts so that we can you know Go for those shadow gems and whatnot. So that's the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that like button, button if you did. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Sev Tech Ages. Later, guys.